Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. So tonight, what we're going to talk about, since we're talking about encrypting everything and VPNs, I'm going to shift a little bit on you here before we get back to our VPN videos. And I want to talk a little bit about the, the Unify controller. One of the things that comes up over and over again that I see is how to uh, put an actual SSL certificate instead of the self-signed that comes with it, which is always a fantastic idea. Uh, how to do that. So a few years ago, I wrote actually just a real quick how-to. It's out on the Ubiquity community. It's also on my website, the howx5.com, but we're actually going to go through the process right here. So before we get started, this will work if you're hosting on Amazon Web Service, um, Amazon Web Services, anywhere where you've got a Linux box, uh, Ubuntu, this should work. It will also work if you if you are in Windows and you open the, up the command prompt and you're able to run these same commands. It should work in Windows, it should work in Mac OS pretty much the same way. Uh, it doesn't work like this specifically on uh, some other devices, so that this is primarily for uh, self-hosted non-cloud key setups. So you can get a, a lower end SSL certificate. It'll cost you about five bucks a year, so about fifteen dollars for three years. And as long as you're keeping your web browsers up to date, you shouldn't have any issues. So let's hop into this real quick. So when we go over to unify.howx5.com, you will notice this says not secure. So if we go to the developer tools, and then over here to security, we can take a look at the certificate. And if we look at the certificate that comes loaded with Unify, it's issued to Unify, issued by Unify. And I just cleared my key store today and this is the default certificate. If it doesn't find a key store when you start the Unify service, it will auto-generate that key store. So you can browse through everything here and you know see what uh, the details are in the certificate, but we're not going to use it. So we are going to use my instructions, which I'll also post a link uh, to a Google Drive document that has these. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to SSH into our controller. This will work if you're on DigitalOcean, if you're on AWS, if you're on Azure, any uh, Ubuntu or Debian hosted controller this should work on. So we are logged in. You can see my IP addresses. I've also got Docker running on this box. Looks like I've had some updates, need some updates, and um, need to reboot. So I'll take care of that. That's not the scope of this video. So I'm going to pull up the instructions that I've got here that I created. And we're going to run, we'll leave the instructions over here, and we'll come over to this side. Now, um, there are a couple different directories that uh, we're working with. So we've got this. And if you see, these are um, links here to other. So this data is a symbolic link over to the var lib unify directory. And you can see where I talk in the instructions that your CSR is going to live in this var lib unify or in this data. So, all right, so we're in here and we're going to go ahead and run uh, the command. We're going to do sudo java space hyphen jar lib slash ace dot jar new underscore cert and we'll do unify.howx5.com we're going to do Okay, so we've got the FQDN of our server, our company name, uh, city, state, and country. And you have to use the two 
uh, letter country code. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to ask me for my super secret password. So I'm going to put that in and now it has uh, generated the CSR. So we can either go into this data directory or you can go to var uh, varlib unify but uh, that symbolic link takes us there. So uh, we can look at these and we see that these were just generated and the file that we're after is this unify underscore certificate dot csr dot pem. So we're going to do more unify certificate pem and here is the certificate signing request. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to go over to SSLs.com. That's where I'm, I'm not an affiliate of them. I could be, but I'm not. Everybody gets their certificates everywhere. Some people use Let's Encrypt. I do not use Let's Encrypt at this point. Um, I do use SSLs.com and I use a range of products from them. For this, we're going to do the, the certificate. It's like uh, four four ninety seven a year, something like that. So if you go over to SSLs.com, go to certs, and it should load a, um, a page where you can choose. And you can do this positive SSL cert. It is hot. It's four ninety nine a year and up. It does one domain and you could uh, spend the five bucks. I mean, if this is all you're doing with it, this cert, cert will work fine. There's no reason to spend, you know, $500 on a, on a cert here. Uh, unless you're in an environment, so let me clarify that because people are going to get upset. You know, if you're in an environment where you have to have high assurance, then use the high assurance certificate and spend, spend all that money. So, uh, but for in our lab, this $5 certificate works just fine. So other people, like I said, their policies may dictate that they can't use this $5 certificate. For our lab, the $5 certificate is going to be fine. So you go ahead and you buy you buy the certificate and then you uh, log into your account and you go to purchase certs and you can see that I've, I already had one and I've got one that expires in two years, but uh, we are going to if, if this were new, this would say active, activate. It would not say reissue. So if you're doing this from the start, you're going to do activate. And at activate, once you click activate, you're going to enter this CSR that you copied. So let me back that up just in case you didn't understand. If this is a new cert and you're using this, you will get the activate button, not the, the reissue, which is what I'm doing. So I'm going to paste in my, my CSR. And I'm going to tell it to read it. And it comes up and it says, Search should be issued for H5 Technology LLC, unify.howx5.com, Peoria, Illinois, United States. Looks good onward. So it will cover unify.howx5.com and www.unify.howx5.com. We're going to receive an email. And so what it's going to do is going to go out and look at my domain and it's going to see who is, who can get, you know, uh, emails related to that domain. And so I am going to choose um, this email address. And then I'm going to fill out all of my information. Everything actually looks good here. And so now what's going to happen is they're going to send me an email and I've got to approve it. So I'm going to do that real quick. Once I approve it, they're going to email the certificate. So I'm going to go through that and then we'll grab the certificate. So while we're waiting, uh, I did this certificate validation. This came to me. There's this code that you copy. You click the link that's in the email. It takes you out. You paste that code in and then you hit it. And then, you know, it takes a few minutes and they will email the certificate. So that's what I'm waiting on now is the, the email with the certificate. It also has the intermediate. That's probably it. So it also has the intermediary certificate. So it took less than five minutes to get this certificate. So I'm going to do that and then uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so it took yeah about five minutes from the from the time we purchased it. We put our CSR in and then uh, went through the validation process. And so now here we are. We've got a zip file that was delivered to us. It has the three intermediary 
uh, certs and then the cert for the Unify server. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fire up Win WinSCP and we're going to copy all these over to our uh, home directory and then we're going to copy them over to the Unify directory. So pay uh, attention to this. Now I do not have uh, the root account enabled on this particular Ubuntu box, which is uh, why I'm I'm doing it this way. So if I had a, um, I, so I'm in my home folder over here. I'm going to create a cert folder, and then we're going to go into the cert folder. So now those are over in the cert folder. So we're going to head on over to our command line again. And I'm actually going to rekey this after the video. So if you see this, uh, I'm not real crazy about it. So the, the certificate will get uh, rekeyed. So I'm going to go to my home folder and close this. Yep bring back up our instructions here and um, so when I did uh, CD space tilde uh, that takes you to your home directory automatically in Linux and we're going to go into that cert folder and we'll do a sudo copy to user lib unify okay so now we're going to go user lib unify. And now I am going to copy and paste this because it's long. And actually, before I do that, I am going to change this to how x5 com. But everything else is the same. And you could do the same copy and paste. So we're going to run this command and hit enter. And you can see if everything went OK, it should say certificates successfully imported. Please restart the Unify control. Pseudo service Unify restart. It's taking a minute. It's thinking. So let's come over here and let's hold uh, shift and click refresh in Chrome. It's waiting. The server must be uh, starting up here. Why aren't we secure? It says, valid certificate. The connection to the site is using a valid trusted server certificate. Active content with certificate errors. You have recently allowed content loaded with certificate errors, such as scripts or iframes, to run on this site. So there's something that the Unify software is putting out, which is strange. Hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to close all my browsers. We're going to open it back up and see what happens. Okay, so I closed Chrome and I reopened it and I uh, typed in the URL and it looks like it's waiting. So I do run uh, several services from the same box, but now you can see we got the, uh, the green padlock. So now, you know, if you're logging into this from outside, if you've got these punched through. Now my DNS is run internally. Um, so if you go to this, uh, from outside, it'll resolve an IP, but there are no services running on it, so you can't you can't get to um, to my Unify controller from the outside. So that's it. Uh, it's it's really that easy. So you know, if I've had several people get a hold of me and I log in and charge a couple bucks to uh, to fix it when it's broken, I've seen some. Also, some uh, Ubuntu installations over the last couple of weeks that were broken and just a few minutes of troubleshooting and we were back on track. So um, if you uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, the links, all of my Amazon affiliate links are down in the bottom. My private Internet 
uh, affiliate link is down there, my Instagram, Twitter, and of course my PayPal donation link. You know, so once again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share, and we'll see you at the next video.